Hey guys, this is Michael Chandler. Uh, I'm fighting Dave Rickles, Bellator 97, uh, July 31st in Albuquerque, New Mexico. I, I like to do around a 10 week training camp, so I, I kind of started 10 weeks out from my actual fight, um, but I found out eight weeks before, so I'd already been training for two weeks. I, I, was, I ended up doing six weeks of training camp, then you know the, the injury got announced, Dave Jansen hurt himself. Um, so when that kind of stuff happens, you're already basically in shape. You've already put in a ton of work. I've already done the sprints and the sparring, and, and I was looking forward to only having, you know, three or four more sparring sessions. Um, and then, the, the, you know, the, the injury got announced, so then I kind of had to go into vacation mode a little bit, kind of, you know, I, at first I was bummed out, obviously, because I put in all the work and I was ready to fight June 19th. The, the biggest thing that I want to do, the most important thing in my life, in my career right now, is getting fights and fighting. So so to have my fight get kind of canceled, um, and at first I didn't know when I was going to fight. They, they didn't announce that I was going to go, you know, push it back to July 31st until a couple days later. So that, that went through a day or two where I was just like, man, you know, I want to get in the cage. I want to I want to show the world. I want to show my fans, my friends, my family, uh, you know, how hard I've been working, the improvements that I've made. So. I got a little bit bummed, but then I kind of just went into, you know, vacation mode. Uh, I took a week off. Um, I actually went to Mexico. Um, so I uh, went there for a couple days and uh, just kind of got, got, uh, got my mind off of things, really. And, uh, you know, just, just enjoyed, enjoyed myself and then got right back into training camp. And now I've been going hard. This is my second week hard. And, you know, we got about six weeks left. So um, just ready, ready to, uh, ready to get out there July 31st and, and kind of just, you know, put the, put the, Dave Jansen cancellation behind me. Focus on Dave Rickles and then get out there. Yeah, man. Uh, Alliance Training Center on Friday mornings and uh, you know Tuesdays or Wednesdays, whichever days we spar, man. It's it's no joke. It's 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 one of those things that will you'll wake up in the morning and you're kind of excited, you're kind of nervous, you're kind of scared, you're kind of just like, man, what are these guys going to put me through today? And that's that's exactly how it is. And it's it's uh it's great when I'm sitting here and I'm done. Uh, and I can say, man, I, I, I had a hard day. I had a great day. Um, even though I lost some rounds, I got tagged a couple times, got pushed really, really hard, got really, really tired. You know, once it's over, you're really glad that you did it. But before, um, it's it's no joke. It's it's not. It's it's a uh, it's a pretty kind of almost scary feeling. So, um, you know, just going with these guys, it's great. You know, you hear you hear everybody in the background. Everybody's joking. Everybody's playing around. Everybody's enjoying themselves. I mean, we're a really, really tight knit, tight knit team, close team. Um, and everybody here just wants to get better. Everybody here wants to take each other's head off and, and uh, you know, not hurt each other, but, but push each other and, and get, get each other outside of your comfort zone. And that's, that's exactly what you have to do if you want to, um, you know, continue to improve uh, as a team. So it's, it's, uh, it's great. It's a blessing uh, to, to be around a bunch of guys like this, to be going up against tough, tough guys, hard-nosed guys, um, and guys that want to push you. So um, I'm blessed to be a part of this team, and, and even though I hate it sometimes, you know, I, I enjoy it. I know it's making me a better fighter no matter what. Alliance on three. One, two, three. Alliance! Yeah, you know, I think just from, you know, uh, 10,000 hours of wrestling, you know, you kind of, someone gets your legs, someone gets your back, someone gets their arms locked around you, someone gets both legs, you know, you kind of, you know, you fight it to a certain extent until you feel like, you know, if you have to give it up, you give it up, and, and when I give it up, I, I get keep that momentum going, I keep that, you know, I keep the scramble alive. Um, a lot of guys fight it, fight it, fight it, and then they end up on their butt or their side, and then they get taken down. Uh, whereas me, um, I kind of like to go with it. I like to, um, I like to create a scramble. I like, I, I love a guy grabbing my leg, grab, grabbing both legs, locking their arms around me. Whether it be a body lock, whether it be them getting my back, you'll see me in a lot of those positions every single day, and that's something that I kind of, um, that I almost transition into. Something that I almost encourage. Um, if a guy gets my leg, I'll give it to him even deeper. If a guy gets a double leg, I'll let him lock his hands. Or a guy gets to my side, I'll let him get, take my back, and then, you know roll end up on top and that's kind of yeah I just think you know 10,000 hour, hours on the wrestling mat um, and then you know training that ever since day one guys guys would try to get in on me try to take me down and, and I would just kind of roll through roll with it and create a scramble and usually you know 90 90 something percent end up on top yeah you know D Dave Rickles is, is a tough guy and that's you know um, there's the same thing I was saying about Dave Jansen both of these guys are tough tough guys um, very durable they can take shots they can um, they can take punishment and you know they can they can fight you know they've shown that they can fight 15 minutes really hard so you know we'll see if it goes 25 minutes if they can fight 25 minutes really hard and I'm, I'm, I'm betting that he can um, you know he's just that kind of guy he's that grinder he's that kind of just grimy in your face pushing forward pushing that pace um, type of fighter and, and you know I, I kind of 
you know, I like to think that I'm one of those guys, except um, I've worked a lot on my striking, I've worked a lot on my grappling, a lot of my grappling defense, a lot of my, keep, and I've continued to work on my wrestling um, here at Alliance. So, you know, I, I'm just excited about the matchup because no matter what, he's not going to be a guy who's going to take a backward step. He's going to be coming towards you. And he's going to be, or towards me, he's going to be coming towards me. He's going to be pushing the pace. And when, whenever you have a guy who is pushing the pace, there's going to be a, a street fight that's going to break out. Um, you know, my goal is to get in there, touch him up, beat him up a little bit, and, uh, you know, get him, get him to the ground maybe, beat him up there, and uh, make him give up some kind of submission. Um, and that's kind of, that's my goal. You know, I want to I finish this fight. I want to finish Dave Rickles. I don't think he's really been finished much at all, if he ever has been finished. Um, so that's my goal. Um, get in, get out, take as little damage as possible. Um, but definitely go out there and show the world, show, um, show the fans, show my friends, my family, how hard I've been working every single day here in this gym and uh, just continue to make improvements because that's, you know, at the end of the day, that's what it's about. It's about stepping in the cage, a better fighter, a better man than you were, um, you know, the fight before. And, and that's what I want to do. Yeah, you know, I mean, every single day is, is tough. We go, we go two a days, uh, you know, four days a week and sparring, sparring twice a week. So I'm, I'm working, getting a lot of sparring in, getting a lot of mitts in with Adrian Melendrez, a lot of pads, a lot of pad work with uh, Eric Del Fierro here. So we're just working on a lot of combinations, a lot of, you know, punches, knees, elbows, kicks, trying to uh, kind of expand my arsenal of, of strikes, if you will. Um, you know, and then at, as a, at the same time, continue to stick to who I am, because who I am is a wrestler. Um, I came from the Missouri wrestling system, and that's hard nose in your face, push the pace, pick them up, put them down, and beat them up. You know, that's that's kind of my mentality. That's how I started um, back in August of 2009 or 2010, whenever it was, when I started fighting. And, and you know, I, I want to continue that that mindset that I can take people down, I can pick them up, I can put them down, I can control them, and I can beat them up and, and make them, you know, put them into a situation where they want to give up you know but at, with that mindset I also want to continue to become a better mixed martial artist a complete mis mixed martial artist and that's you know working on my striking working on my grappling working on my submission defense and uh, you know just happy uh, I love being a part of this team I love waking up every single morning and knowing that God put me in the sport for a reason and it's just uh, it's just really cool it's a really cool feeling to know that you're doing uh, you know what you were called to do and uh, you know with that it kind of gives me that that liberty and the, the ability to just go as hard as I possibly can and know that you know bad things cannot happen I uh, just thank you for the opportunity you guys are watching MMA interviews TV um, thanks to Mantra Energy Drink thanks to Everlast and uh, make sure you check out my fight July 31st against David Caveman Rickles hey this is Ariane Celeste this is Uriah Faber this is Glover Teixeira this is Dan Henderson you're watching MMA interviews In MMA interviews you're watching MMA interviews TV